All right, guys, Model Rockets 321 here is back. I know it's been a long time since we had a launch video or any kind of video for that matter. Um, was away for a little bit, took a little break, was on in Egypt for my birthday and certain things were happening. But um, I took a little break. So we are back today. We are going to start the day off with the Astron Omega two-stage onboard video and altimeter will be running. So um, sit back and enjoy. This upcoming video also subscribe to the channel if you're new hit the thumb up button drop a comment also support the links below get yourself an Estes discount IN underscore three two one go to Estes website fill up your cart then put that code in and you will get a discount um, I'm not sure if it's working for everybody if you've already used it but just give it a shot so this is my rocks three two one let's get the day started here we go all right guys here we go we got the Astron Omega going on a D twelve zero to a D twelve seven onboard video and altimeter is running and we are going in five four three two one there we go he's staged it is up seven second delay parachute is out there it is i know the booster just hit behind me and we are under parachute nice Coming down over the range, so we should be good. Just gotta find that booster. It's on the ground somewhere. Should be easy to find. It's silver. Nice high flight. High flight. See that red parachute? Let me see if I can get a zoom for you. Kind of hard to see. I want to take my eye off. Let me get over this way a little. Oh yeah, he's drifting. Coming down over this way now. This is my return back to the launch. Marcy, you see that booster fin? All right. So this is my return back to... Ooh, he's over here. I had to get walking. Yeah, this is my return flight. So I'm just... um. Sorry if you're missing half of that, but... Hey, I had to keep my eye on him. Kind of got a bead on the location. He's behind these... Yeah, he's behind this berm. So we're going to get over there. And it should be cool. Be right back with you. All right, so I can see the Astron Omega right here on the ground. Everything seemed to be intact. I know the booster fins are back there. Have the body, nose cone, everything's here. Sometimes you can look and you can have stuff missing, but we are good. Stage D120 to D127. Look like it went perfect. So we're gonna check this altimeter in a minute. Camera is here. That guy's that's already stopped, so cool. Very nice. Nice flight. I lost that one camera out here. I'm always still looking around for it. Yeah, he's gone though. But yeah. Nice flight of the Omega. Nice flight of the Omega. So we're gonna get back over there. Let's get some more launches going, guys. Model Rock 321, as stated. Check the links below. Support any way you can. But we are back in action. We're gonna get some flights going. And let's do this. Model Rock 321. Subscribe. And the booster landed over here by itself. As you can see, he's doing pretty good. D120 motor in there, booster's right here. So yeah, this is a perfect, perfect flight. Nice high. Got a light little breeze, but it didn't really affect it. It arced into the wind a little bit, but no big deal. So we are good. Model Rock 321. Subscribe to the channel. Let's do it. Step beyond the ordinary with Above the Surface, a captivating collection of science fiction inspired drawings by model rocketeer Keith of Model Rockets 3 to 1. This zine features striking illustrations that push the limits of imagination and creativity, paired with motivational quotes to inspire and fuel your drive. Whether you're chasing dreams or need some positive words, Above the Surface is here to elevate your journey. Get your copy today while supplies last. All right, next up, we're gonna be flying the Goblin on a C65. I know it's a, a 24 millimeter uh, motor mount, but I'm flying it with the little, the adapter. So we're gonna be flying this on a C65. Should be streamer recovery and everything should be nice with this one so let's do it 
All right, guys, here we go. We got the Goblin going on a C65. And we are ready to go. Range clear, sky clear. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, Kato. Motor Kato. Wow. C65 motor blew up. Wow. That was spectacular. I think the motor mount is going. It blew the engine. Yeah, that was a Kato. That was definitely a Kato. It blew the motor mount out. Well, the motor mount still there. The engine hook's gone. Wow. C65 exploded on me. I think I saw the uh, motor mount maybe kept going. Or I don't know. This is just wadding here. Well, second flight was a Kato. Well, I don't know. Everybody witnessed that right there, so no flight of the Goblin. Oh, I see part of the, um, oh, the motor's right here. Here's everything. So yeah, we definitely had a Kato just happen. So there's the motor right there. That's probably all gutted all the way through, I'm sure. Oh no. Well, wow, that's pretty crazy. Actually, this is an old C. Whoa, this is an old one. <laughs> this is an old C65, so I guess that's what happened. Here's the engine hook, all still intact. The adapter's still intact. Wow. Well, just had a Kato. And uh, we will check this out in a debrief. I rock 321. Subscribe. Alright, guys, next up we got the Big Bertha going on a D16 4 FJ. This is one of the QJet motors. Now, Aerotech and Aerotech Quest has sent me a whole new box of motors because the ones were um, they were having Kato's. So they, hopefully this is uh this is a fresh fresh pack, fresh box of motors they sent me. So we should be good here. I'm not expecting any um anything other than a nice flight. So we're gonna get this going right now. All right, here we go. The Big Bertha D16 4 FJ going in five, four, three, two, one. Wow! Hold off the pad. And there's a pop, there's parachute. We got parachute out. Nice, coming down. Yeah, coasting down pretty good. Let's see if I can, if I can find him. Yeah, get pushed by the wind. Wow, where is it? All right. Wow. I'm spinning around. <laughs> Coming down pretty fast now, it seems. So there's some breeze up there. Gotta get back used to the zoom again. I'm like, gotta practice. Yeah, he's coming down pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Oh man, I gotta find it again. I keep losing it. Oh, there we go. Going good. Yeah. D16 4FJ. Coming down over there. So it probably touched down by now, guys. I'm going to get this guy. Nice flight. D16 4FJ sent the big berth up in a hurry. I had it arched into the wind just a little because there's a small breeze. So I gave it a little, a little tilt. A little tilt. So let's go and recover this guy and see what we got. All right. As I approach the big bertha, everything seemed to be intact. Motor still in. Bends are good, nose cone, parachute. Simple, simple, simple. That was a good deal. Nice. So that motor worked out. It was the FJ, so that's why it had that dark smoke. If you know anything about the motors, most of you guys know by excuse me. Most of you guys know by now that the uh, FJ motors put out that sooty black smoke. So good deal, good deal so far. Other than that Kato of the Goblin, it was an old C65, which is I thought it would work, but I guess it's too old. Probably got weather cycled by somebody. And you know the deal. So let's continue this day, guys. Let's do it. It's my Rocks 321 subscribe channel. We're gonna keep going. Alright, so here we go. We have the mighty Saturn V. This will be the last flight of the day. Hope you enjoyed it so far. This is the smaller version that Essie's released a little while ago. I think it's the 1200 scale, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. Maybe the 1200? I forget what it is. But anyway, it's gonna be going on a C63. A newer C63, so I'm not expecting a Kato, but you never know when you come when it comes to this hobby. So we're gonna do our thing. It's my Rocks 321. 
All right, here we go. We got the mighty Saturn V. Going on in C63. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is, fighting the wind. Three seconds. And we got the parachute. That three second delay seemed a little long, but you know, worked out. Coming down, coming down fast. Ooh, hit hard. That was a hard landing. Hard landing. I saw it wobble when it was going up too. It was fighting the fighting a little breeze we got out here. It's a small breeze, maybe five mile an hour, six mile an hour. I don't know. Small though, it's not too bad. But these fins are known to break. I'm expecting. <laughs> I'm lucky if I don't get a broken fin this time because they had hit hard. And did it not break? Interesting, it did not break a fin. Because I've been breaking that fin right there, but I'll take it. The uh, tip's good, so we are good. We are good to go. Smart Rock 321. Nice flight of the Saturn V. It wasn't super straight, it was uh, kind of wobbled up there. It's fighting the, fighting the breeze. So this is the last flight of this guy. Stay tuned for the debrief and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you're just checking this hobby out for the first time and you don't know anything about it, you can get a discount at Estes Rockets. Go to EstesRockets.com, put in discount code IN underscore 321, get a discount on me. So, and tell them Keith from Model Rocks 321 sent you. You can send them an email and tell them what a great job I'm doing. <laughs> it's Model Rocks 321. See you in the debriefing. Peace. All right, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Model Rocks 321. This is the debriefing. I am back. Got some flights coming for you. You just saw the flight of the Omega, the Goblin, kind of a flight, the Big Bertha, and the Saturn V, the smaller version by Estes. So, starting off, I flew the Omega in its two stage configuration. As a matter of fact, get the engines out of there. Let's do Got tradition here, we'll always take the engines out. D120 in the bottom. If you saw a video from a while ago, I had the motors reversed and it was disastrous. Destroyed the Omega, but I rebuilt it. It's the same rocket. I just rebuilt from here on up. You can see a whole video on that. And there's the film on the way to disaster. You can check that and you can download that film. It's, in, it's a digital product. Fairly cheap. It's helped support the channel. Um, Anyway, I rebuilt it, flew it today. I flew it in the single stage uh, configuration on the F44 a while ago, and that's when I lost the camera that was here. But since I've gotten the replacement, and sorry you did not see onboard footage. Um, I, ha I had the button pressed, and this is one of the newer ones where they have the light, you can see the light here on the front. So it's kind of nice. Actually, I got this cap in the wrong way. Yeah, you can actually see the light when you start it, because it was an issue before you had to start it and then put the cap on and put it in, but now you can see it. This is one of the newer ones, so this is a good touch. But sorry, I had it. I thought I hit record and it didn't go, because I had a couple misfires, clips are dirty, wires are fraying, so I had some other issues with my controller that I gotta get resolved. But the Astron Omega, it did its thing, staged, took off. It was a nice, nice flight. Um, but, but I still have altimeter in here. Let's see if I have a reading on that. I did not check that yet. Had that in the payload section. So here's an altimeter reading. Let's see what we got on the Astron Omega. Let's see if did I get a reading today. Hopefully I, um, I did get that because it should say four flights now. Let me see. Batteries are 81. Let's see what we got. So, oh yeah, there it is. 1,042 feet. So 1,042 feet on, um, and... 112 miles per hour. You would think it would go higher um, on D12, but it was kind of breezy and it did arch into the wind. It wasn't like a perfect straight flight. It had a, it clearly was arching over it and went to stage. It continued on that trajectory. So 1,000 feet, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. And that is on two Ds. Now I am building a version of this. I believe it's set for two E's. I believe it's the, it's the clone. I have it right here. Let me see if I can get this. I'm pretty sure I probably have shown this before. Yeah, it's based around a center rock, but I think here it is right here. I think I have this set for two. Yeah, this is these are set D. Yeah, this is set for two E motors. So this will be a high fly. Yeah, that's definitely will need the spacer or two E's. So there, an E motor there, and I can check. Yeah, definitely two E's. So this is set. I don't have the paint or anything, but this is set to fly on two E motors. It's another Omega. So it's already it's just needs this paint and stuff, but 
that's kind of hanging in the background because I still have other stuff I got to get uh, built. But yeah, not a bad flight. Oh, I'm going to get this off of here. Not a bad flight today. I was glad to get it um, get it back in the air in its two stage. I think that's the first flight since that big crash. Well, first flight in its two stage configuration. So very cool, good deal. Um, nice flying rocket. Always great performer. These fins are getting real beat up. Um, but yeah, so and this one thing you always want this nice and loose. You want this thing to stage off there pretty good. So but yeah, it's a good flyer. Good flyer. I love this rocket. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Anyway, next up we have the Goblin, which I had a Kato. This is a very old, old, old C65. You can see the way it's even made, like with this line there, type and primary use C65 1903. I guess that's the old, uh, that's the old serial number for it. Very old. It Katoed on me. It blew. Kato's a weird man. Just I guess it's an explosion on ejection instead of um, producing thrust. It kind of went up, but it blew apart. As you can see in here, the motor mount. I found the motor hook. Found the motor hook right here. And this, surprisingly, this survived. Um, this some tape or something there. This adapter survived. I had this motor was in here. It survived, but it just blew everything else apart. It's not too heavily damaged. It did just. It kind of ripped that part. Blew. Yeah, like I said, it seemed like it just ejects everything forward while it's trying to thrust. It's a weird situation whenever you get a Kato. But shock cord stayed. Oh, this is pretty good here, except this screw eye. It took the wood with it. And there's that technique where you put a block of wood in there and then you screw the screw eye into that block of wood. But yeah, so that's um that's what happened with that Kato. That was the second launch of the day or attempted launch. But now this guy needs to be all fixed up. I think the last time I flew this, it was on a D-127. It was a very windy day, probably last year sometimes. So I'm going to get this. This Goblin seemed to have been giving me some issues. I haven't had a, a decent flight on it yet. And this was a an acquirement. I got this rocket. I think it was a Craigslist thing. Um, a guy had some rockets he's giving up. It's very old. It's an old one. So I went and just touched up some of the paint and got it. And the fins were off, I believe, and just got it all fixed up. But Goblin, what a classic. What a classy. Then we also flew the big Bertha always a classic oh uh -oh, knocking some stuff over always a classic classic rocket to fly I believe it was Vern Estes favorite rocket so I flew this on the D16-4FJ it hauled off the pad it was a nice performance it wasn't no slow lift off it leaped it leaped off so there you go D16-4FJ um, one of the Q, um, Q-Jet motors which is Quest and Aerotech so it's like a composite motor FJ designation is that black smoke so very nice flight on that one. And I'm not sure what order I flew. I think this is the last one, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the mighty Saturn V did its thing. Flew nice. Um, I'm going to have to do something about this shock cord, shock cord that's in here. Because it's slowly getting charred and burned up. So let me get this motor out of here. And that was on a C. That was a C5-3. Okay. It pushed itself up in the air. It got up there pretty good. It kind of arched over. It was heading into the wind, but gave a nice flight. It was a nice flight. I'll, t I'll take that flight. I'll take that flight. And it hit hard. I'm surprised the fin did not pop off because I had broken this fin right here a few times. It was hitting on this same fin over and over. I broke it at least three times, two or three times. But yeah, nice flight of the Saturn V. Everything's intact. The tower's good. So. All right, guys, that was today's flights. Drop your comments below. Any questions you have, drop that below. So you've got four flights today. We will have more coming. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, support any way you can. Um, SD's discount code, IN underscore 321. Check the links below, website, all that stuff. Visit SD's shopping cart, put the code in, and, you know, treat yourself. It's Model Rocks 321, and I am out. Stay tuned and watch this video coming up on your screen right now.